Mademoiselle and sa deuxième channel with Angel Dia, we are going to be talking about mermen. Now, you guys know I've done a couple of videos about mermaids, and mermaids have been trending forever on the internet, okay? And just even before social media, people have had a crazy fascination about them. And I just feel some type of way because no one ever talks about mermen. And I'm like, what is the discrimination I'm seeing here? Like, why we never talk about mermen? Like, no one ever talks about, like, where they come from or what their place is down there. Like, we just skip over them. And honestly, I just wanted to talk about them real quick, see what I can find, see what you guys know. Now, of course, we already know that mermaids have been talked about and people believe in them for thousands of years. They're seen in numerous scriptures, lots of literature, lots of sculptures, art. Literally, this is something that is probably undeniable at this point. But when it comes to mermen, you don't see them that much. And that is for a reason because mermen are technically not that common. They're actually very, very rare to the point where actually according to Greek mythology, mermaids actually have to mate or do mate with humans because they don't find many mermen. And in Greek mythology, they're actually called tritons. Now, let me just say that when it comes to Greek mythology, you really have to take it with a grain of salt because it is called mythology for a reason. It's a myth. It ain't real. Let's just take a moment to let that sink in because somebody actually brought this to my attention the other day and that shit just blew my mind. White people sat here and made up all this intricate fake shit. Like that shit is mind boggling to me. Okay, as interesting as I find Greek mythology, I find it mind boggling and mind blowing that a whole bunch of bored white people way back in the day sat there and made all of that shit up. No wonder they sitting here trying to steal our shit and demonize it all the damn time. If I knew that a bulk of my beliefs was a whole bunch of caca that is literally deemed and called mythology. Um, yeah, I'd be searching for something to believe in too. I'm just fucking saying. But like I said, for the purposes of this video, we're going to delve into that a little bit. So in Greek mythology, they are called tritons, okay? Male mermaids are called tritons. Triton was a fish-tailed sea god who was the son of Poseidon. And he stilled the waves with his conch shell trumpet. Doesn't this kind of sound like Lord Agwe and how basically you have to have the conch shell in order to call him? Like maybe they all hold these. Maybe some way, somehow, Greek mythology may not be a myth. Like, I find it hard to believe that some way, somehow, a bunch of people just sat there and made all of that shit up. That shit is just way too intricate. Like, comment down below. Maybe Greek mythology may be real in some essence because that is so damn sad that a bunch of people just sat there and made that shit up. But okay, nonetheless. So, Triton was also the god of Tritonis, which was a large salt lake in Libya. The Argonauts were actually stranded in the middle of the desert and they found their way back to the sea by using the passage from the lake back to the sea. You can see Triton often depicted in lots of Greek art. Usually he has a long beard. Also the fish tail per usual that you often see mermaids. Usually pretty youthful, playful, greenish type of skin. And what's very interesting is even though he is, you know, of himself, he is a triton, most people also attribute mermen or, you know, male mermaids to be called tritons as well. He was multiplied into multiple sea spirits called tritons or tritoness i hope i'm saying that right but that that's how it's spelled spirits of the sea so like i said they're actually very very rare and mermaids usually can't find them to mate so this is why they usually find people to mate with now you guys are probably like people to mate with what you saying ivana now urban legends okay and this is kind of what i summed up from people that i asked so most of the time you guys always hear women seducing men i have to go back into the mermaids real quick because you know what would this video be without talking about them now a lot of you may be thinking okay well these might just be myths these are just you know deities and gods and stuff but What's really crazy is there's been lots of archaeologists that have found lots of like bronze statues and etched carvings and basically writings and stuff about mermaids that are like way before even written history existed. So it just makes you think. It's really interesting. Even in the Bible, I believe there's lots of talk about mermaids and other holy books as well. This is not just, you know, hearsay and people just making a 
of fairy tales. These things have to exist. And of course, it's harder and harder to find these types of things online because, you know, the government don't want us to know shit. So it's like, oh my God, you gotta like have to ask people and go find shit. Now, I know you guys really want me to talk about that TikTok dude that got into that car accident and he claimed that a mermaid was trying to, you know, seduce him on his boat. <laughs> Catching you. Be free. Be free, homie. Sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you gotta let them free. You know. Sometimes you just gotta let them roam free. Let's just walk right back. Let's see if we can find. Oh, yo! I hear it. I hear him. Where she at? What the fuck is that noise, bro? What is that noise? Hey, yo, you hear that? I know what the fuck that is. I know what the fuck that is. That bitch followed me the fuck in. Oh, at the docks, though? No way. No way. I was gonna make a video about it. I might still but I'm gonna be watching him because to be honest I don't believe him Whatsoever, I think he's full of shit and I know a lot of you are like oh, well, he got into a car accident. All I gotta say is I looked up the license plate and that car has a lot of recalls and um, That car was gonna crash eventually when you have a car like that that has recalls on airbags and seat belts and everything else It's gonna crash ladies and gentlemen never ever ever post your license plate on the internet I said what I said Anyways, I'm gonna get into this video. I mean, there's been lots of stories of people finding mermans and mermaids. Ireland, back in the 1800s, who was out on the shore one day and he saw two men that he thought were just hurt. Then he looked, you know, he came up closer and he realized they were mermen. He was in shock and disbelief. One of the men was actually dead, but the other one was still clinging on to life. He took him home and he literally would only eat shellfish and drink milk, which I don't understand. Like, do they have milk? I did it whatever not my business and basically you know he just i guess helped him until he was ready to get back into the water honestly there's lots of stories like this you guys would be surprised and i find it hard to believe that people only think that there's only humans on earth i think there's aliens i think there's mermaids i think there's mermen i think there's all of that stuff because there's no way that it's just us on this earth now, of course, we always hear these stories about women seducing men at sea, oftentimes either killing or kidnapping them. And a lot of people usually depict these stories when they come back, if they come back, that they've either been married or just given special powers or, you know, a host of other different things. Now, this is because of what I mentioned. Like I said, there's not many mermen down there. This often does cause them to come up to the surface and try to steal someone to marry because you know they want to have babies too you know they want to have a life of their own so this is why they do steal sailors and other seamen and stuff like that so that they can marry so they can reproduce and stuff like that now how they reproduce honestly i haven't tried to research that i don't know if i want to know i would assume they kind of reproduce like fish it's the only thing that would make sense 
very interesting. But anyhow, the point is, it's very, it, it actually makes sense because there's so many stories of men definitely going missing at sea or coming back later and trying to say, you know, now they're married to a mermaid. Now they're married to a siren. Now they're married to, you know, this, that, and the third. Now you guys are probably wondering, okay, so what do mermen do? Now the thing is, clearly there's plenty of mermaids in the sea. So for the most part, a lot of mermen, from what I've heard, are not really violent. A lot of mermen are protectors of the sea. They're not really going to hurt you or anything so long as you are not doing anything crazy in the water, so long as you're not doing anything malicious in the water. As long as you mind your business and go about your business, they're not going to really do anything to you. Now, this is pretty universal across the board in most types of cultures. Now, now of course, if you have any type of different stories, comment them down below because I would love to hear it. Now, of course, we gotta go to Japan. Now, I've definitely done a video on a Japanese type of mermaid before. You guys can check that video. It's right over here. I'm going to link it down below, but we're gonna be talking about the Kappa today. Now, we're not talking about the Kappa, the Shimmy and Kappa. That's, that's, that's my man, okay? My man's a Kappa. <laughs> Makes me a silhouette. I love my daddy. We're not talking about Kappa right now. We're not talking about the Greek organization. We're talking about the Kappas that reside in the water. Now, what's very interesting about Kappas is most mermaids and mermen you hear about reside in oceans or just all bodies of water. Now, Kappas usually reside in smaller bodies of water, usually coastal waters, rivers, and lakes. And they're pretty big, kind of, I mean, I, I would say big and small. They're kind of like the size of a kid and they're more fish-like than anything with the face of a simian type face and a tortoise type of shell on their back. You can imagine how ugly that shit is. I'll be damned if I see some shit like that in the water. I'm child. I really want to visit Japan, but I've been reading up too much about certain things that be in the water. And I'm the time. Now, the thing is, they actually interact with humans and they actually challenge humans to games. And you're supposed to play the game because if not, they'll kill you. And what makes it worse is if you play the game and you lose, they'll kill you. Honestly, it's kind of a lose-lose, but I mean, if you win, you're good. And apparently they could grant you fortune. I don't know how true that is, but apparently if you win, you know, good things can happen. If you lose, like literally they will kill you, but they love to kill children. Yes, like that's literally their favorite pastime. They attack children regularly. There's been numerous stories of Kappas really killing children in Japan. They love to bother people and attack people that swim all by themselves in the rivers and the lakes. So most people in Japan, especially people who know that these Kappas are in certain types of waters, never, ever, ever, ever swim alone in certain waters. It's really, really crazy. And they actually really like cucumbers don't know why but they like cucumbers so i would assume if you don't want them to eat you bring the cucumbers so they don't eat you I, I don't know on the other hand we have alukan now i hope i'm saying that right alukan Al alukan so we're, we're here in nigeria baby you know i'm um, 39 nigerian y'all i'm flexing that to the day i die bitch okay i'm a Niger babe we have orisha siga this deity I would assume is very, very similar to Lord Agwe. He is seen as a psychopunk, essentially bringing the dead souls down to the afterlife in the voodoo religion. King of the sea, but manifests into a merman or a serpent. Now, of course, you guys can definitely watch my Lord Agwe video because very, very similar. He often takes the souls of drowned sailors or seamen or sea women down to the afterlife as well. I mean, if they're good people, because if they're bad people, that's someone else's job. He also has dominion over other bodies of water as well, not just the ocean. Nonetheless, I couldn't find too much about the mermaid. Comment down below if you guys have more information about them, especially if you are from different countries. I'd love to hear about it. And yeah, maybe I'll do another video regarding babies and how mermaids have babies and stuff like that because I don't think I've tried to get into that. So yeah, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, do all that. And I will see y'all next time. Bye!